Hey everybody, welcome back. So as I'm recording this, it's sort of a grim mid-March day, rainy and cold, but it's spring for you. So we're going through a transition and we're also going through a transition in this course. So um, one of the things that you may have noticed is we didn't have a lesson yesterday. Um, and going forward, we recognize that, you know, the machine project that you've begun working on is going to take time and energy. And so what we do over the remainder of the semester, we're about halfway done, actually, we're about at the halfway point of the semester. And what we're going to do for the rest is we're going to clear some space um, for you to work uh, on the MP each week. So um, the calendar will be your guide here. Um, the, so not every day we're going to have a lesson posted. There are some days when we won't. Uh, yesterday we didn't have a lesson posted. Um, check the calendar if you're confused. But if you come to the lessons page and there's nothing there, um, then you know that's a day that you should spend some time working on the MP. Um, so you know between you know reduction in lessons and the instructional days, uh, we're roughly sort of uh, the goal here is to kind of reduce the workload by about 50% um, in terms of the lessons to give you more time to focus on working on the MP. And I would really encourage you to do that because. You know, the first MP was just getting you started. Um, this MP checkpoint is a much bigger challenge. Uh, so please get started on it um, if you haven't already. Um, this week, though, we introduced a really interesting topic in the class, which is not something that every uh, CS1 course uh, touches on, but I think is tremendously important, which is the concept of interfaces. So we'll start talking about that today. And we have a couple lessons introducing you to that idea, which is really important. Uh, in many ways, it's more powerful and more widely used than inheritance as a programming pattern. And so this is something I want you to see. And it's also something that will allow you to make sense of a little bit of what's going on on the MP. So the other thing for the next few weeks in particular is that there's a lot of synergy between what we're covering on the lessons and what you're seeing on the MP, which I think is really cool, right? Because we're, we're kind of, we're showing you some of these concepts in you know, a small way um, you know, on the lesson, and then you see them in a little bit of a bigger canvas on the MP. So um, enjoy today's lesson, and I will meet you at the bottom as usual.